up K fams? It's your boy K and I'm back with the new video. So in this video we're going to celebrate my first ever 100 subscribers. So first of all, thank you all guys for supporting my channel and thank you all for smashing the like button. And also thank you all for supporting all my vlogs and thank you for showing interest to my content and to my activities. So I promised you guys last week that I'm going to make a Q&A and I'm very sorry that I've made you wait guys for this video to launch. Wow, launch. Because I'm busy at school at the moment because I've taken an NC2. So I think it is going to be the perfect time to shoot the Q&A. So I'm going to answer you guys as fast as I can. I'm going to make this video as fast as I can. So without any further ado, Let's move on to the questions. So the first question is from Miss Ayan and also from Miss Psych. So actually I've combined their two questions because the thought of their questions are just the same. So I'm going to read their questions. So their questions is see no mga inspirations mo sa pagbablog and who are my idols? So thank you all for those wonderful questions. Actually my inspiration for my videos is of course you guys because without you no one will watch my videos and of course because of you guys you supported me in my vlog so that inspired me to make more videos for you guys and also my family they've supported me in my vlogs also so that's about it and by the way my idols when it comes to vlogging is of course Casey Neistat, Kong TV and Will Dasovich well for me those three people are the best vloggers because they're the ones that inspired me also to vlog so next question is from miss renza so she asked but mo naisipan or mag decide na ipopush mo mag vlog so actually i decided to vlog because i want to share my own story what it feels like to be a filipino what it feels like to be a citizen and what it feels like to live here in La Carlota City. Because when you say vlogging, it's like writing a diary, but the difference is you're sharing it all to the other people by means of social media and by means of recording. So yeah, I decided to push it. And also you guys, you pushed me also to make more videos because you show interest in my content. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question is from Mr. Vance. So he asked, try come and upload some uh, gaming contents so basically uh, he asked that if I'm going to post some gaming content well yeah that is one of my plans next month I think but at the moment I don't have the extra phone or device that will record myself while I play a game so as of now I'm still saving money so that I can buy a second camera so that I could record myself while playing a game so and I think I will make a separate channel for my gaming and for my vlogs so we'll proceed to the next question so this question is from Miss Rochelle May Orozzo well RM stands for Rochelle May so she asked ano my advice mas mga taong wala pa naka move on basically she asked what is my advice to the people that haven't moved on from their past relationships so the tips in that thing is to divert your attention to another kind of activity for example engage in activities such sports uh, focus on your study and also love yourself first before loving others okay because if you love yourself first you know what your value is what your worth is right rather than just engaging in such relationship without loving yourself it's like giving all the love to the people that you want rather than giving the love from yourself first and my second tip is to think about his or her impurities for example think about the flaws for example think about anything that will turn you off from him or her that's what i did from a past relationship and in that case i've managed to move on faster and also last tip is if you're committed to move on you'll find a way to move on faster because if there's a will, there's a way. Okay, so let's move on. Depends on you if you wanted to take my advice or not. Your loss, not mine. <laughs> okay, so the next question is 
from Miss Judski. So she asked, Paano mo na manage mag vlog and school stuff? Well, she asked, How do I manage my school at the same time vlog? Well, of course, that's what I've said in the intro that I haven't made a video for the past few days is because I've taken an NC2 and I'm busy at the moment. So my plan is, every week is, I plan my vlogs from Monday to Thursday and I shoot my vlogs for about Friday to Saturday and I edit my videos from Sunday. And if I get lucky, I'll finish my vlogs in Friday and I edit it at the same day. And also, I will upload it also at the same day if I get lucky. So that is my plan and how I manage my vlogs at the same time as school. So I hope you'll take my advice, sister. Now let's move on to the next question. So the next question is from Miss Megan Harkeo. So she asked, Paano magpapayat? So basically, if you guys didn't understand that, how to lose weight. Well, of course, how to, losing weight is, of course, hard for some of the people. Depends on your commitment and also depends on your dedication. If you want to lose weight, you will work hard. So what I did, I'm going to post my pictures here from 2017 last year and here in the present right now, 2018. Not a huge difference, but at least I lost weight. So last time I remember I've reached 95 kilograms and right now I'm in 79. So what I did was water fasting for the whole summer. Well, of course, not just water fasting, but also paired it with exercise and diet because what matters most is the food that you take, not the sweat you make. You get my point, right? Like 70% is, is the diet and 30% is the exercise. Yeah, that's the hard truth in losing weight. And if you're, and also discipline. Discipline yourself when you eat. Because all of us millennials nowadays like to eat. Even me, I like to eat. We don't care what kind of food that we put into our mouths. We don't care if it is healthy or not, as long as we're satisfied with what we're eating. Set you. That is what I'm seeing right now. Even me, I'm doing it also. But after that, I regretted it and I drink a lot of water. Don't forget to drink a lot of water because it is important to your health. It's better to have no food rather than having no water for the whole week. That's for my preferences. So I hope you guys will take my advice. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question is for Mr. Paul. So he asked how to have a strong relationship. That is a deep question, bro, you got, you got there. So having a strong relationship. Well, having a strong relationship is, of course, not that easy because you need three th things. First one is the love. Second is the trust. And the third is respect. Because without those three, you will not have, you know, a strong bond between each other. Because without no love, you have no spark. You have no reason to hold the bond that you have each other and without trust it's okay to have trust issues it is pretty normal because we are afraid to lose our trust in that per certain person because trust is a single word and it's easy to say and it's hard to build right once you break a person's trust well good luck for you if he's coming back or not so last thing is respect each other right so if your partner decides to do this respect his or her decisions and if your partner doesn't like this or that respect also his or her likings or his or her standards so it's easy as that but it's hard to do yeah you need a lot of time you need patience to undergo this kind of things okay so i hope you take my advice into account bro sorry if i can't give you tips much longer because i'm keeping this video short as possible so I think in the next or my, in my future videos, I can make it longer because right now I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so this next question is from Miss Clarice. So she asked, Bakit hindi tayo crush na crush natin? Well, most of us millennials nowadays are more focused on their crush rather than our studies, right? Even when our crush um, walks by and we're like distracted at the moment and we don't care about the studies anymore. Sad truth, that is the reality right now. We are, more for, we are more focused on our crushes. But let's go back to our topic. <laughs> so what is the reason why our crush doesn't like us back? Well, of course, 
some people have their own standards and maybe you, you didn't meet one of their standards their requirements in order for them to like you sad truth but truth hurts bro uh truth hurts sis it's much better to love the person that loves you rather than loving the person that doesn't love you right you get my point or in our own dialect mahal ko or mahal ako if i were you i would pick the mahal ako because it's easy to love the person that loves you already so take my advice or not depends on you depends on your preferences or standards okay Okay, so the last questions is from Miss Rosario Panaligan and from Miss RM. So their questions are also the same. Their thoughts are also the same. So I will combine their questions. So their questions is, what are my messages or advices to the people that want to start their own YouTube channel? And also, what are my advice if the people are hesitant to make their own YouTube channel because what if people w doesn't want to watch the video? Well, actually, all of us people nowadays have the access to social media accounts, right? So don't hesitate to post the link of your video in those social media accounts because let those social media accounts of yours be a stepping stone. Let those social media accounts of yours an instrument to disseminate your video, to share your videos, to share your stories. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. If you're committed for this thing, don't be shy. Trust in yourself. Be confident. And even me, I'm not confident because I haven't vlogged outside. I'm still building confidence. If you want to start a YouTube channel, trust in yourself. Be confident. And make sure that you have an interesting content. It's better to post twice a week with a quality content rather than posting a daily vlog that has a boring content right i hope you will take my advice if you wanted to start a youtube channel so i think that's about it guys and i'm sorry if i'm making this video short and i'm sorry if i'm talking too fast because that's what i've said it's time for me to sleep and by the way thank you all again for supporting my channel thank you for those 100 subscribers well actually not one, just 100 but 121 last time i checked so thank you all people and i hope if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new here consider subscribing so thank you all for watching and if this video reaches um 10 likes i'm gonna do the spicy noodle challenge yeah yeah <laughs> okay so thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe please thank you all for the support